how does having one versus two copies of the ApoE4 variant, so ApoE is a gene, you can have different numbers, you get a two or three or four from mom, a two or three or four variant from dad, so you can be an ApoE2-2 two, two or 2-3, two, three, a 3-3, three, three, a 3-4, three, or an ApoE4-4, four, four, which has the highest, uh, confers the highest amount of risk. How does having one or two copies of this ApoE4 variant impact chances of getting Alzheimer's? So my family is littered with ApoE4, but also ApoE2s. We have so many ApoE2-4s in my family. It is just, it is, it is bizarre. So ApoE4, one single copy, increases risk to me a little bit, but I don't really know what that means because if a person with one copy of the ApoE4 variant also has an ApoE2, the two neutralizes most of the four, and it kind of doesn't bother me as long as the person is living a healthy lifestyle. Really important. If you have an ApoE3-4, I believe that most, provocative comment, most of the ApoE4-induced risk that increases Alzheimer's risk in a person with one copy of E4 plus an ApoE3, like you, Max, that you've been very open to talk about, I believe that at least 60, 70, 80% or more of that ApoE4 increased risk can be neutralized or negated by lifestyle changes. People with one copy of the ApoE4 variant, you don't want to drink alcohol in excess. You don't want to smoke tobacco. You want to follow a Mediterranean style diet. You want to get your cholesterol in check. Um, you want to make sure your blood pressure, your blood sugar are really perfect. You know, those metabolic risk factors plus ApoE4, bad news. Head trauma. We don't want too much head trauma with ApoE4 either. You want to have sufficient omega-3 fatty acids in the diet. And if you can't get it in, in fatty fish, then you can possibly take a supplement. There are so many things a person can do to make their genes work better for them. So when I read a news story that says, oh, having one copy of the ApoE4 variant increases your risk by two to three or three to five times, that doesn't mean anything. That's silly math because if a person's healthy and doing everything right, maybe it increases risk by like 0.2. So it's like by 20%, like, you know, big, big, big deal.